Have you ever wondered how to get a chance to work with Government of India or World Bank or United Nation or even Tony Blair who is the former UK Prime Minister? Or have you ever wondered how to actually tap upon such opportunities in public policy and social impact? Then hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Shatakshi. I have worked with Government of India as a policy advisor and I have also worked as a foreign uh, at foreign policy advisor at Tony Blair Institute for Global Change in Middle East and of course I'm an ex-BCG management consultant with an ISP MB and of course Harvard Exchange and on my channel I share absolutely free advice, free experiences around uh, MBA, management consulting and at times my love which is public policy and of course personal finance. So feel free to hit on the subscribe and the notification button so that you get notified every time I'm taking a chai break to actually discuss such interesting career advancement techniques with all of you. So this video is particularly very close to my heart. Why? Because uh, I have told this innumerable times on my channel how at an age of 23 I realized that I just don't want to make rich people richer. I had a sense of social purpose in my career and I wanted to advance others through my work as well. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing certain hacks that really worked with me, especially if you're looking forward to build a career in public policy and social impact. And like always, I have divided this video into three parts. First and foremost, uh, the why, which is around why should you work in public policy? I know if you have clicked on this video, then a part of you is already motivated to work in public policy and social impact. But if you're on an exploratory journey, let me very briefly help you also appreciate the perks of working in public policy and social impact. And then second, the hacks, what kind of hacks do I know about? And especially the skills, the five skills that can actually land you an opportunity to work in uh, government of India and multilateral organizations such as United Nations, World Bank, Dalberg, FSG. And last but not the least, there is uh, the how part to the answer. How can you actually uh, build a network of like-minded people who are also interested to work in public policy and social impact? So first and foremost about the why part, my personal motivation. So I think there are two parts to this answer. I know that I'm obsessed with two parts. So. Uh, as a management consultant but coming back and giving you an answer so the first and foremost is i have always found that whenever i have worked in social impact i have been a happier person i've gotten more peaceful uh, sleep and i have had a better sense of purpose that is not saying that people who work just in pure play capitalist markets or who are just trying to make themselves richer are good or bad it's just i am saying that i have always felt a better sense of purpose and i've had better uh, work life balance and work uh, life work satisfaction whenever i've worked in public policy and social impact i remember that i've had hard days working for government of india and also for tony blair institute for global change but i've always felt that there were days when for example i was working with bcg or groupon which is now called nearby where I in the morning just didn't feel like getting up and working right and I think you would also relate to a lot of what I'm trying to say there are days where you don't feel like getting up out of bed and just working right but whenever I worked in social impact and today I feel that emotion because I am an entrepreneur in uh, for in social impact sector so largely I have gotten that feeling that even though my health is not supporting, I have not had a good day or I hate a few of my peers, I have always felt that yes, my work will bring certain happiness or certain well-being to someone else's life and that has made uh, work satisfaction uh, or made me achieve a better work satisfaction. So that's first motivation at a more micro, individual and personal level. The second one is if you are aiming to actually apply for MBA to the top programs, the top MBA programs are also now a appreciating people who have spent certain time in public policy and social impact because these MBA programs, these top MBA programs are also not just trying to provide you job opportunities only, they want to create future leaders and leaders are those who actually question status quo, leaders are those who actually not just want to build money or make money through their ventures, they want to advance the causes of society through climate impact, through responsible capitalism by 
uh, reducing income inequality etc so those could be your two motivation you could pick any of them and then you could have your third motivation as well but i just still wanted to share what were my motivations mine was definitely first and then eventually i realized during my mb application i had an offer offer from oxford side and of course isb mba and i realized that my application was i was able to stand out because i had not just worked in private sector i had also worked in public sector which brings me towards the kind of hacks and skills that can actually land you a job opportunity in public policy and social impact so first and foremost at a cv shortlist stage i have always maintained if you have less than decade of experience you should always try to have one page of cv and in a very succinct format where you actually talk about your impact of the work and i'm always happy to put a downloadable format of a good cv template and on this video you could check that out as well you could download that template and build your cv from scratch on that template uh, but there is one very important element in your cv that you should have if you want to work in public sector and social impact which is certain proof of concept certain proof of motivation that you are are not just trying to game the system you are genuinely interested to work in social impact and what could be those certain proofs at it could be an internship it could be volunteer work and that just gives trust to the employer that he or she is not just talking the talk but is also going to walk the talk so that's point number 1 point number 2 largely when you think about the skills that can help you land a job in public policy first one is definitely problem solving school uh, problem solving uh, tools not school uh, in my government of india job when i was working as an advisor and i was uh, employed by ministry of commerce to be specific and uh, in my middle east dubai job opportunity with tony blair institute for global change and with tony blair institute for global change most of the people that i was rubbing shoulders with were from harvard kennedy georgetown wharton yale and uh, bain mckinsey bcg dalberg x management consultants so coming to the point there were case interview rounds and mind you policy cases are a little hard to crack harder to crack than private sector management consulting cases why because they are more abstract in nature uh, there is no revenue and revenue could be divided into price and volume in a classic management consulting case in a private in a policy case you have much more abstract problems to solve for so you still need to learn how to crack case interviews so that's a uh, point number 2 Point number 3 is even in policy consulting roles and social impact roles you need to be able to have good communication skills why because you're typically dealing with a lot of stakeholders from governments to investors to beneficiaries to your team members communication skills really stand out i made a separate video around succinct communication pyramid form of communication so feel free to check that out if you specifically struggle to have uh, succinct and management consulting style uh, communication skills which brings me towards the fourth point now especially in public policy and social impact sector they will check your availability and keenness to also work on ground when i was working actually in government of india i had traveled voluntarily and out of my own motivation passion to go to mandi uh, which is actually in uh, the which is in himach mandi is in himachal yes mandi is in himachal it's been so many years that i went to mandi and because on swachh bharat mission index it had ranked number 1 and somebody had to really go on ground and understand the best practices so i volunteered to go on ground and in public policy consulting and in social impact roles they will check your motivation keenness to be on ground and understand the realities of ground rather than just work top down which brings me almost towards the last hack and the skill they are looking to from you if you are specially looking to get hired in social impact and public policy role which is definitely once again a proof of uh, not just at a cv level but now your ability to talk about your passion why do you now wo want to work in social impact and public policy when i was getting interviewed for government of india advisory role i know of my friends from st stevens college who were also who had also applied from bain and company and bcg who were rejected why because they were not able to show uh, a proof that they were interested to work in public policy so many a times you could be the biggest or the most intellectual person on earth but especially in public policy and social impact they're looking for proof of concept they'll find trying to find data point either in your interview or in your cv 
that you have the heart you have the empathy you have the compassion to solve it for the society as well which brings me towards the third section like i always said that now that we have covered the motivation now that i have told you the kind of skills you need to enter public policy and social impact sector how could you enter if you are feeling stuck with respect to the network so at my own uh, education venture global governance initiative.org we run a policy scholars program which is an alternative to international MPP such as from Harvard Kennedy School and Columbia SEPA and we have employment partnership with the leading employment partners in this country you name it Samagra Governance Satwa Consulting FSG we are in still early uh, stage talks with FSG Nudge Foundation Central Square Foundation etc and uh, of course we have a community which is very especially in the mpp scholars program which is very much inclined towards building a uh, good solutions for the society and for the government which brings me towards the last and the most important point the entire mpp scholars uh, go through an upskilling program for 3 to 6 months based on your flexibility and they learn really interesting things from economics to public policy to liberal arts uh, and solve problems from like i said varying subjects like agriculture um, technology and innovation cryptocurrency legality and what not so feel free to check that out shall you be interested uh, to actually become part of that community and leverage the partnerships and the tools that we have forged for your learning and development and like always as i end if you like my videos and you like hearing from me feel free to hit on the like a uh, button and uh, share it with your friends so that they get to know about all these cool things that i'm talking about and with that i take your leave and i'll see you soon in the next video till that take care stay happy stay safe and i'll see you again bye bye